In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create an infinite photo swoop quickly out of just a plane. And that way you can use it when you are photographing objects and setting up different renders for products and objects you want to render. So the first thing we're going to do in Maya is on the poly modeling shelf, I'm going to select a plane. That's going to place a plane right here at the origin. Then I need to go to my attribute editor. If you're in the general workspace, you may not see the attribute editor. But if I go up to the top here, I can click these three little pins and this will open up the attribute editor. At first glance, there's a lot of options. We have P plane one, P plane shape one, then polyplane one. We want this third tab, polyplane one, and we could label this a different plane name. So if I call it my plane, it's going to change that. So we can see that that changes that name right there. Then what I want to fix is the subdivisions width and height. Right now it's 10. So I'm going to drop this down to one on both. So now I have a simple plane that doesn't have any divisions. Now in Maya, if you want to switch from object mode to any of the other edit modes, you right click and hold, and then I can go to edge mode. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to click this edge with the, my left mouse button, hold shift and click this edge. Now I want to extrude these edges up. So I'm going to press Command or Control E to extrude. Now I have my extrude button right here, and I'm just going to pull this up. Okay, so just some amount here, just about one width of this object right here, and then I'm going to click. When you're in Maya, if you press Q, it'll get you back to your selection tool. So that way I'm back to selecting things. Now I'm going to shift click these back three edges. So now I have the back three edges of this object selected. Then I'm going to hold shift, then right click, and then I can go to the bevel edge option. So now it's beveled this, but I actually want to change the segments to something like four segments. And then I can change this fraction to what I want. I think the half fraction is actually pretty good. So I'm going to leave it there. And then I'm going to press Q just to exit out of that tool. Now there's a lot of things I could do. I could just scale this up as is, but I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and select these edges right here. And then I can press W and I can just move them out a bit. And then I can press these edges right here and then move them out a bit as well. That just gives me a little bit more space right here. And then of course I can go ahead and select these top edges here and move them up a bit just to get the shape that I want. Now I'm going to press Q again, right click, go to object mode, and then I can scale this up. So I can press R on my keyboard or select the scale tool from the menu. And then if I want to scale in one direction, I grab these outside ones. But if I want to scale uniformly, I scale like this. So now I have this nice, photo swoop. Of course, I can smooth this out a bit. I can add some edge loops and make this a little bit better. So if I, I right click this and then I smooth this and I change the divisions to something like two, it's going to smooth that out a lot more. So you can see how this is going to be a lot smoother. I can go all the way up to three and then that's going to be pretty gosh darn smooth for uh, what we want to do with our object. So now I have a nice photo swoop that is simple to make from a simple plane. It's nice and smooth and it will make a great backdrop for any object that I want to render. So happy 3D modeling.